Welcome back, y'all, to Fuh Adventure. <laughs> Last time, we toiled through land and sea and dungeon to make it here, to the end of Carrie's cavern. And right through this gate is Carrie. So let's beat some ass, shall we? Now, Carrie, who I thought was actually a fire deity, but... I'm probably very wrong about that. It's actually super simple to fight. Every time she, he, I'm assuming it's a she with that rack there. Well, if I'd stop fucking up. <laughs> Every time she swings across the screen, just smack her with this morning star. It's awesome. I love fights that are fairly easy to figure out. <laughs> oh, I sound so lazy. Oh, well. Even. She's only vulnerable in her head, so... Probably don't be an idiot and just try to hit her from below like I just did. But pretty much, if you just... She just wiggles from top screen to middle screen to bottom screen. So she's super easy to avoid. And that's all she'll do. She'll try to smack you with her tail and she'll throw these ice things. You can actually smack out of the way if you're good enough. I love using the Morning Star for that very reason. You swing it around, it smacks her multiple times. And look, she's already dead. This great battle y'all waited for. And for our efforts, we get the Ice Sword. So maybe y'all waited for nothing, but... That was Carrie. For how briefly he or she stuck around. I'm certain it's a she with the rack there, but you never know. Maybe that snake end wasn't quite... Shut up, Lolly. <laughs> anyway, with Carrie out of the way, we head back to Lorem, where all our dear kingly members and Seba should be unfrozen. Ouch. And I'll stop getting hit by cat heads. Oh, and I could also go the right way. That would also be a great idea. You know, in the effort of not wasting time. Hello, Chocobo! Eh, I'm not even gonna ride him, because I'm gonna have to whip out my axe here in a second. And by a, and by a second, I mean right now. So excited to see what Seba has to say. What am I doing? Oh yeah, I'm putting... I don't know why I suddenly decided to put another weapon back on. That's why. <laughs> That's called foresight. Aw, oh, see? He's all unfrozen now. Welcome to Lorem! Hey, Kingdang. Thank you! Seba's waiting in the other room. Hooray! Actually, I think I need to delete something out of my inventory. So I do. Alright. You'll see why here in about, oh, three seconds. Received Bone Key! Go up the wide river by the Ammonite Coast. Go beyond the Ammonite Coast to Float Rocks. Use this key at the cave in the Float Rocks. The Guardian Monster has the Legendary Sword. I'll tell you the rest when you return with it. And if you don't, well... So we've just been given our next destination, but where the hell is the Ammonite Coast, you ask? We actually know exactly where it's at. Because we were there not very long ago. And so shall we return. Ha ha ha, I'm keeping it a mystery to you all. <laughs> Alrighty. Actually, if you recall where we got the ice armor, that's where we're headed. <laughs> I can't help it. I can't keep it a secret from y'all. It's not, in fact, a secret to everybody. <sighs> so back across the water we go. Paddle, 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 paddle. Mm, paddle, 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 
You think our Chocobo is just sick of carrying us by now? Especially with all the crap we're holding on to. Da, 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 da. Up we go, and up we go. Yeah, those little things right there, float rocks. <laughs> they make me think of rock candy, and now I desperately wish I had rock candy, but I do not. So, my longing continues. Anyway, we're headed right back up over here where we were previously. And we'll actually get a chance to use that little heel lake. Because I wouldn't mind having a little spruce up there, actually. Dun -dun -dun! Put our flame whip on. And immediately get hit by a griffin hand. Lovely. Die. Alright, wrong way. <laughs> I forget. I watch so many videos now, I forget which one it was where they called that a flap flap. Or somebody called a manta ray a flap flap. Maybe it was a Tumblr post. Either way, freaking adorable. So now I can't help but think of them as flap flaps. I think it was a Tumblr post, because then somebody posted a picture of a pancake manta ray, and it was just sickeningly adorable. Oh yeah, you can break rock candy with your your star of awesome. I completely just blanked out for like three seconds. <laughs> There's also what will hurt your shoulder critters there. Pretty sure they're called shelters. Or is that a Pokemon? <laughs> Maybe it was Sheldon's. Doo -doo, doo -doo -doo -doo. I went the <laughs> I went around in a circle. Completely intentionally. I was just showing y'all the way not to go. Yeah. You believe that. Truth. <laughs> Anywho. Our purpose here is to actually walk into this house for a moment. And we can't carry that. But actually, we come in here, we see he has the Thunder Spear, but we do not have the money. So this is actually the moment where I will pause because I am not going to make y'all watch me gain like 4,000 bucks. So I will see y'all in a minute. Hello again. It actually hasn't been nearly as long as you might think because I actually kind of forgot to sell off my old equipment and stuff. So, we now have the Thunder Spear, which will be great in the trials ahead. So, it takes us from 70 to 86, which even our Flame Whip is 78, so it is now our most powerful weapon. Huzzah! So now, we continue on with very little gold in our pockets. Well, more than enough for what we'll need for the rest of the game, I believe. Pretty sure that was the last item we actually have to bother buying, unless we want items or something. Which, ha! <laughs> at what point in this entire playthrough have you seen me use items? Very, very few. That thing can moogle me? Hang on. I have done this enough times. That little thing is not going to go away, is it? Did I dump into power again? Yes, I did. Oh, please stop moogling me. <laughs> I did have the bone key equipped, so we entered the dungeon. Alright, I need me a normal key here for a sec. Doo -doo -doo. Very short dungeon. Actually, whip these guys. Make our way past flaming seahorses. And eyeball dudes. 
Gamma Way. Alright. We are actually not doing bad. Like, in the course of a week, I've gotten more plot accomplished <laughs> than probably the past, oh, month or two? Anywho, has this really even been going on two months? I'll have to check. <laughs> if it has, holy crap, that's terrible. Anyway, alright, we are going to put our magic on, and that wonderful spear we just bought. Because on the other side of here, the Kraken. Ouch. And you already see there, his little tentacles pack a wallop. So, wait for them to dance about, you can come down and stab him. Not a hard fight, as long as you pay attention to the tentacles. Normally I'll wait to see if he'll throw both of them at the same time and jump out and stab him. I suppose I could try to be a little more daring, but... Eh, why? Let's see if he'll throw the other one out. He's not. But sometimes he'll sneak that one in again. Still, he'll die quick enough. Ouch! Or I will. You're just being difficult because I'm fighting on camera. That's what you get. I'll stab the crap out of you. I'll turn you into calamari. Mmm. Oh my god, that sounds so good. <laughs> I'm gonna... You bastard! He is only being difficult because I am on camera right now. You can die. Ha! Four stabs! What do you think of that? It might have been only three. <laughs> You are determined to make me work for it today, aren't you? Jerk. Run away! He'll blow you up! Yeah, that little poof that comes up on the bridge will actually hurt you. So if you're kind of low on health, you can get... What would the word for that be? Suicide screwed. <laughs> anyway, with the Kraken gone, we are suddenly on our own little island. And there's where the game ends. We're on our own tropical island. What else could we possibly need? We have crab, crab, turtle to eat, and evil seahorses. There's probably coconuts in these little palm trees. So yeah, that's the end of the game, y'all. <laughs> oh, you know that's a lie. Anyway, we come in here, we have the evil volcano cave. But actually, hmm. I'm worried now, because since I cut my video, I don't know where it stopped. I'm only at five minutes. I couldn't have possibly done a 15 minute video before. Eh. We'll go a little bit into this cave anyway. I'll probably take this up to... I think eight minutes would be a good... Good cutoff here. Let's see. I know y'all love just hearing me talk about this kind of shit. X ethers, why not? Alrighty. Ouch. Probably should have went and healed. So, oh yeah, we're in a volcano, y'all. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. I probably did. <laughs> Which is why these little lava looking dudes are popping out of the ground. So apparently, somewhere within here, is our legendary sword, of which to beat up Julius. I believe I mentioned that. Whack. All right. 
so now it's just a matter of murdering things like normal and then going and murdering Julius because screw him <laughs> one of these days I actually need to look up what they revised the story into find out what motives they gave him or if they even tried to give him motives did that thing just split off? I might be giving this game way too much credit Alright. So, anywho, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off there. Because I am, like, way paranoid that I'm running this video too long. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Next time we go through the rest of the volcano and hopefully find a sword along the way. So, tune in for that. I hope you guys are enjoying, and I will catch you next time.